Learning about Black History. Written by Grace LaJoy Henderson. Today is a big day, exclaimed Gracie to brother. Miss Holly is taking our class on a field trip today for Black History Month. Gracie was excited to learn about the history of black people. She was a curious girl who loved to ask questions. Yesterday, I asked Miss Holly, why is the month of February called Black History Month? Gracie said. She said she will tell us the secret today. I can't wait. Gracie looked forward to hearing the answer to her question. When she arrived at school, she hurried to her desk, sat down, and waited until finally, Miss Holly said, with a big, bright smile on her face, Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Holly, said Gracie and her classmates. I can see you are all eager to go on our field trip. Yes, we are, they all exclaimed. That's great. But before we go, I am going to talk to you about black history and what it means. I will start with Gracie's question. The month of February was chosen for Black History Month to honor the birthdays of two great men who did a lot of things to help black people. Miss Holly looked over and saw Gracie waving her hand in the air with a curious look on her face. Gracie, do you have another question? Asked Miss Holly. Yes, who started Black History Month? Asked Gracie. Miss Holly answered. A man named Carter G. Woodson started it a long, long time ago. Why did he start it? Asked Gracie. Miss Holly answered. Mr. Woodson noticed that black people had done some amazing things but not many people noticed their work. For example, a lot of us have heard of an ice cream scoop, but not many of us know that a black man invented it to make it easier for us to dip ice cream. Because of Mr. Woodson's determination to help all of us learn more about black people's good work, we call him the father of black history. Miss Holly paused, smiled, and looked at Gracie to see if she had any more questions. Gracie looked back at her, but did not ask another question. Miss Holly continued, During Black History Month, we honor the great things that black people have done, and are still doing, to make things better for all of us. And remember, class, said Miss Holly, no matter who you are, where you are from, or how old you are, you can do some good things too. Black history isn't limited to the month of February. We can celebrate it every day. When we go to the museum today, we will learn more about what it means and see more great people. Gracie was happy about all the things Miss Holly had taught her. With more enthusiasm in her heart, she couldn't wait to go on the trip to the museum to continue learning about black history. The, the end. end. If you enjoyed this story, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.